Hey YouTube fam, how y'all doing? It's your Uncle Tim. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, a channel where I ran in a review. And a lot of you all have been asking me, Uncle, you got Galactus and you ain't talking about it. You ain't have him flying through the video or anything. He ain't... And he in that pose like, then he make that noise, you know, you got him. Hold on. Hell, he was working the other day. See, if you look at the back. Who is so ignorant as to confront Galactus? But why do they have him sounding like that? You will witness the end. For I have power incarnate. So, you know, I was thinking about this, man. This look pretty cool, man. For the price that I paid for it, it's heavy as hell. Dude, this thing was 40 bucks. I think it was five dollar shipping, forty bucks. I was willing to pay upwards of like a hundred bucks for this thing, and you know what? Forty bucks before I went on vacation, man. It was waiting for me when I get to the house, man. I really like this, man. You know the, the detail on the head. You know it may have some blemishes. This thing is old, but you know what? I appreciate it, man. That's one thing about collecting. If you appreciate something, the size comparison with this damn thing is crazy, man. If you look at it, damn it, seven inches compared to 19 inches. There's a hell of a lot of, you know, discrepancy in size, man. You know, I was going to put Thor and all of them up there. I was going to get some of the, I was going to get Silver Surfer, Thor, uh, and a lot of other heralds of Galactus, man, and work from there. You know, this is what I look at, man. I was looking at how the feet are made, you know, the boots. You know, I love the Hazlab one, but brother, I don't got an extra $500 laying around just to buy a toy. And um, I had people offering it to me for $350 uh, plus like $50 for shipping. You know what? $400, bucks, I can not go that high because, you know, again, wife ain't trying to hit it. You know, at the end of the day, again, you know, it's what it is, you know. On this one, it said it was from Toy Biz. It was from the 90s. This was part of a builder figure. And this is not a builder figure, fam. This is actually, you know, the one that's supposed to be from the Marvel Universe. You know, the 3.75 figures, man. And I was happy as hell. You know, I was ecstatic. and still is, man. The only thing that I'm having a problem with, like you can see if you look in the back, you look how big Galactus is. He takes up basically two shelves. So I'm trying to figure where will I put them at, you know, just thinking about that, man. But you know what? I'm happy to have that damn problem, you know. Um, you know, I can make it work, but I don't want to make him the centerpiece of a whole shelf. And, you know, <laughs> man, but you know what? That's one thing about a lot of this. You know, this is where the speaker is in the back. Uh, this, you could pull this off, you know, the actual, this, this comes off. Uh, this is the button you press right here to make him talk. And, you know, he has a lot of different... Man, but like I say, man, the knees on this is pretty good. They real tight. Uh, the legs, they're sturdy. You know, one is kind of loose a little bit, but you know what? I'm good with that. You know, dealing with the age of the figure, you know what? You can work with certain things, man. But the arms, you know, the joints are really tight. Man, overall, like I said, good figure. You know, I don't know if like in certain ones... I seen one. Let me see. Who dares defy Galactus? Now the thing is, this material seemed like this can come off. You know, along with this can come off, man. But I'm not taking all that off. I like it the way it is. It looks so cold blooded, man. The hands they don't have articulation; they just move. I'm good with that. 
I don't know how much this was back in the day, but for 40 bucks now, uh, my wife thought I paid like a hundred and something for it. She was getting mad, but you know what? When you start seeing how much something costs and how much, you know, relative to every damn thing else, you know, you see a deal. And that's what I seen, man. I seen a good deal. I didn't want to pass it up. You know, like I said, at the end of the day, man, your hobby is about you collecting. And, you know, about you getting the stuff that you want, man. You know, like I said, you know, I buy a lot of stuff, man. And you know what? This was one of the grills. The HasLab version is a grill, too. But you know what? I'm going to wait till I get there. I'm going to wait. I'm not on just, you know, be here just complaining. One step first. This is the first step. Second step. The first step would have been that Toy Biz one. This would have been a second step. And the HasLab would have been a third step. But, man, I'm still proud to have this, man. Really proud. And like I said, if you do the size comparison, this damn thing takes up two shells. Damn. Just look at that. Two whole shells. You put them right here on this shelf, it'll take up two damn shells. You have to have stuff around them. And I don't know if I want them to be the centerpiece. Because, you know, taking shells out is kind of hard, man. <laughs> but you know what? I make it work. I make it make sense. But for right now, man, you know, I'm looking at it for like what it is. Enjoy. You know, um, each transaction or purchase you get should build your collection up just a little bit more. You should be having fun doing the stuff that you're doing. If it's no longer fun, you shouldn't be doing it at all, man. I'm just keeping it real. Um... Again, for the people who ain't see it. I am Galactus. You do not know me. I live in this world. I'm going to just take it all. Galactus. Oh. <laughs> right? That's how you want to do it. You just want to. Remember when you was a kid, that's what you used to do, go, <laughs> but fab to later, thank you so much for watching, peace out.